But yesterday was Wednesday, December 2nd, 2015. Do you remember that? I mean, who could forget the yesterday when we all gathered around the TV to watch the lighting of the Rockefeller Christmas tree? So there were all kinds of performances at this tree lighting. There was Sting, Mary J. Blige, James Taylor. The music and merriment almost made us forget the horrible atrocities that happened the yesterday. A mass shooting in California. The war drums sounding in England. And more hate-filled bigotry from Donald Trump. But. There's a big uh, tree I don't mind. There's a Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. And that tree is bright with lights. 45,000 lights. Yay. <laughs> also the yesterday we learned that actress Sandra Bullock adopted her second child named Lila. And she broke the news by appearing on the cover of People magazine, just like a normal people. The headline on the magazine said she's a mom again. Was she a mom before? She's got another kid. Old Sandy kept the news a secret uh, until the adoption was official, so I guess you can say we're all blindsided by the news. <laughs> if you guys look at the cover, do you spot the weird thing? Basically, her two children are turned away, but she's facing forward where it's like, yeah, it's about me. Even weirder is that the person who took the photo is Sandra Bullock's current boyfriend. Hello, nepotism. Listen, honey, you've been moping around the house, unemployed in your sweatpants. I got a gig for you. You can photograph mommy and her two kids. She basically said, my family is blended and diverse. Nutty and understanding and loving. I hate to break it to her, but that's not a family. That's Froyo. Frozen yogurt. The biggest piece of bullshit from yesterday was that Disney announced that they had 2,500 young men audition for the role of new Han Solo. Disney is looking for someone handsome but funny. How do you bridge that gap? Funny and handsome? <laughs> I honestly can't think of anyone who's both funny and, and is definitely in his mid-twenties. The Force is with you. The Force is with you. For the audition, they had to just get naked in front of the Disney execs and promise not to tell. So the good news about this story is for the 2,499 actors who didn't get the role of Han Solo, they will still get to be in the movie. They're just gonna tape them all together and they're gonna play Job of the Hut. And that's literally everything that happened on Wednesday, December 2nd, 2015. I remember it like it was the yesterday.